dream come true to be at school um, today. It is a, it is a miracle. Uh, first, because I get to tell my family that um, I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, there's actually millions of dreamers, not, not millions, but many dreamers um, that are working for social change and for a better world that inspire me to do what we do at Fundación Paraguaya. I am, my name is Jimena and I am from Paraguay. And in our country, we face a big dilemma. Our economy is constantly growing, but still, at least 23% of our population is living in poverty. So people like us still face another dilemma. What can we do? How can we solve this problem? Sometimes um, you can make a plan, but other times things just happen and you can reach and take that opportunity. Um, in 2004, there was a big fire in my country. Um, it killed about at least 400 people in one of Asuncion's poorest neighborhoods. Uh, it was a shock for everyone, but it was also a time where I learned that we could not stand still. We needed to do something to create change. I got involved in, a, in, in the community. I had the opportunity to, ascend, uh, to attend a relief program with UNICEF called the Return to Happiness, where from, for one month we worked with kids from the neighborhood to change and to work in the process of going from grieving to happiness, to go back to that happiness. Um, so working with the children, very, getting very close with families, I also became a little frustrated because um, I was 14 at the time. So, um, and for, for like five years, I stayed very involved with the community. So I would raise whatever little money I could. I will like take my um, school supplies and try, to, and try to give them to them, tutor the students um, in, the, in the afternoons. But it seemed like, anything I did was not enough, or, or the, even though I could see that the family wanted to be better, I could see that the family wanted to change their living conditions, things were still not changed. Something bigger was necessary to, to see that change. I wasn't strong enough, or wasn't capable enough of unleashing that potential of, of, of that family. So I had the great opportunity to go to the US and get a degree in social work, because I was convinced that I wanted to work um, with these families and make a difference. By going away, um, it was a wonderful opportunity, but it was really by coming back that I was able to discover um, the next step forward. I found um, I, a wonderful place to work that is Fundación Paraguaya, and literally on my first day at, the, at work, I read the mission and it said, um, we dream of a Paraguay that is entrepreneurial and poverty free, um, an example for the world. I was like, are you kidding me? That's exactly what I want to do. That's exactly <laughs> what I want to be doing. Um, is this place really exist in Paraguay where I thought everything was hopeless and we couldn't really do anything about my little community? Um, so this um, working here, I learned that it is possible to, um, to create that change, to inspire families to have a very living condition. Um, with our program, the Poverty Stop Light, we are trying to redefine the way we look at poverty, trying to change the way families, um, the way we interact with families, having them as the main protagonists in their action plans, um, getting back the power so that they can self, um, can um, take that potential and eliminate poverty. Um, we're all, only a small part, it is the families that are doing all the work. So I am honored and very passionate to be able to share all this with you. I'm honored and very passionate to be working and seeing the real change day to day um, through unleashing families' potential, helping them identify what are their needs and how can we change them, uh, finding the right type of motivations. We can change a woman in the middle of Kuruwatu uh, from this bathroom to this bathroom in a matter of um, two weeks because we're finding the right weight. And, and as our executive director, Martina, always says, like, maybe money is not so much the problem, it's how do we unleash the potential that is trapped within the families so that they can come out and, and, and develop by themselves. Thank you. So I want to ask you a couple of questions too. One is, um, you talked about 
early on feeling powerless and mm -hmm. frustrated that there wasn't a way that you knew how to create the change you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. And yet later you joined an organization with a long history of excellence, mm -hmm. which is an incredible opportunity, but also means that that organization has a way of doing things exactly. already. So how as a young person did you join an organization that's really a big NGO mm -hmm. um, without feeling frustrated? How did you find your place there? Um, I think that um, frustration can actually be a strength um, because by going outside and then coming to Paraguay, okay, what am I going to do next? Um, I, I was just um, so passionate and, and, and like trying to find out a place that will let me, and with all this excitement, be able to work. Um, and it's by joining that I, that I was able to, to, to really um, under, better understand what it took to, to create these changes. Um, so, so yes, I think, yeah. oh, go, ahead. go ahead. So I think it's like the frustration inspired me to, to find the place. And maybe it was a little bit of luck too. Um. <laughs> luck too. And um, one of the good things about joining an organization like that is that mm -hmm. then there's mentors for you there. Exactly. So what are the, some of the things that Martine or other people specifically did mm -hmm. to mentor you? Um, a lot. Um, I, I'm fortunate that I get to work with um, just like Martin, Luis Fernando, um, and just the support that we get and the chances for us to be real leaders, to be put out on the spot and, and, and make these decisions, to represent our organizations, to come here to learn about the the um, about how we we can continue to work. Um, it's really important. I think that I was talking like. Um, this early this morning at the Young Leaders Initiative, we were talking about how important it is that we're giving the voice, that we're actually willing to express how much we care about the world, how much we care about um, having a better world, but we really need to have that opportunities, the collaboration between like today's leaders so that we can better become tomorrow's leaders. And, and I think that's, um, I found a place that allows me to do that. I found a place that allows me to express my voice and express my desire to, um, to work better for my country, but also to provide an example for, for others. Great, yeah. thank you. Thank you.